Hey, gun people, constitutional, loving America, domestic terrorists, anti-liberal, uh, all this talk about Trump, uh, it, it's just ridiculous that they're going to drag some up 11 years ago. I mean, look, people say things, I, I think it was kind of guy talk, it was private, but the, you know, the left media is putting their spin on it. And politics, uh, you know, again, the best thing about Trump, the media don't like him, the politicians don't like him, the Democrats and Republicans don't like him. And you know what's funny is a lot of the people like him because of that, because he's not part of the, the game to keep spinning the country into Bolivia and opening the border, just destroying the country that most people grew up to love and respect and enjoy being an American and not having to put another name in front of America and you can't just be an American. And so, you know, the liberals and the left is always telling everybody how racist everybody is and how, listen to this speech real quick. Nobody's offended on this. And of course, these tapes and everything never came out when uh, the great Barack, Barry, Sardano, uh, Obama, whatever his name is, whatever he's deciding to use today, uh, none of these tapes came out back then, but let's, let's listen to, to Mr. Barack here uh, on his nice talk. But I tell you what, you won't see me moving to no African jungle anytime soon. Or some goddamn desert somewhere sitting uh, on a carpet with a bunch of Arabs. No, sir. And you, you won't see me stop eating no ribs either. <laughs> Gotta have them ribs. Yeah, that's funny. And pussy too. Oh. No Malcolm talk about no pussy. Oh, and pussy. pussy. Moving to no African jungle anytime soon. Oh, so he can say he ain't moving no African jungle, but he don't want to be an American. He's got to be an African American, but he don't want to be living in no damn jungle. Or some goddamn desert somewhere sitting uh, on a carpet. Oh, that's talking about the poor Muslims. Talking about their prayer rugs, calling it a damn carpet. Oh, how outrageous. All oh, those words hurt me. Hang on, I think I feel a liberal tear coming on. With a bunch of Arabs? No, sir. And you, you won't see me stop eating no ribs, either. Oh, man, talking about ribs, black man, promoting the stereotype that all black people like ribs. That's just racist, Rick. <laughs> Gotta have them ribs. And pussy, too. Oh, shit, he said the pussy word. Oh, my God, my ears are burning. Where's the liberal police to protect me? So, you know, no problem with this. This is nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't look here, people. Look at Trump, what he said in a private. This is a public thing talking at a college, and he's talking publicly this way. Trump says something in the privacy of his own bus to supposedly a friend, and it gets copied, saved, and leaked. You know, it's just amazing. Clinton can't find, the Clinton campaign can't find 33,000 emails that she deleted, hid, kept on a private server, did all her sneaky, low-down, dirty shit. She loses 33,000 emails, and somehow they find a videotape from 11 years ago in a private bus of Trump. Yeah, I mean, the ignorance of people that believe this shit is just coincidence is something. This is a list of women that Bill Clinton... The great Bill Clinton, you know, the, the great president, the great white hope, the great first, really first black president, if you talk to idiots that believe that shit. I mean, look at the list of women that that have accused this guy. Now, look, I, I know that people, you know, that, that there may be issues when you're in politics. If you're in a job of power, you're going to have somebody every once in a while accuse you of something. But you don't have this many accusers over this long of a period, and there's nothing to be there. But you know what? No, don't talk about Bill Clinton. Sex was personal. You know, he, he, he literally has sex with a 22-year-old in White House, lies about it, commits perjury, gets impeached, lies under oath, and people are like, the liberals, oh, uh, that's private. That's sexual. Oh, so all these are private. These are all the women that Clinton, that have accused Clinton of some sort of sexual assault. Okay, Trump may have said, talk about titties or legs or grabbing pussy, but you know what? He, he ain't up for all these strikes. He didn't pay out $800,000 in a private settlement, and, and part of the civil uh, uh, arrangement is to pay eight hundred grand. but he's not admitting guilt. 
I always love that. If you're not admitting guilt, you wouldn't be paying 800 grand, okay? We call that a clue. Monica Lewinsky, they trashed that poor girl. And I'm not saying she's a pure victim. She's an adult. She was 22. She made some decisions. And she did some things. But to call her a liar and say she made all this up and trash her entire life, ruin her entire reputation by making her out to be a liar, and if she didn't have that dress with his DNA, that people would still be trashing her. She couldn't get a job. She couldn't do anything because they sat there and put out the trash machine, her and Hillary, and nobody has a problem with it whatsoever. Now, Miss Hillary, the, the queen of niceness, and never says anything mean, and is just so offended by mean Donald's words. Here's a list of things that she said over the years to people in public using her power of office as a first lady or whatever. Where's my goddamn flag? I want the goddamn flag up every morning at fucking sunrise. And this is a quote on page 244 of a book. Fuck off. I've had enough. I have to see you shit kickers every day. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you, too. Just do your goddamn job and keep your mouth shut. Hillary Clinton to her state trooper bodyguards. Uh, good morning. Christopher Anderson, uh, I guess, said that she said this on page 90 of some book. If you want to remain on this detail, get your fucking ass over here and grab my bags. This is a big issue in the Secret Service. Secret Service is not supposed to have anything in their hands. You're never supposed to have your hands occupied with anything in case a threat comes. You can defend your protectee. You can grab your gun and secure your protectee. Well, Hillary wants her to grab her luggage and carry her luggage because she treats the Secret Service staff, who are paid by taxpayers, as her personal slaves instead of her protecting her for the country's sake, not for her silly ass stake. Stay the fuck back. Stay the fuck away from me. Don't come within 10 yards of me. This is Hillary. Oh, oh, no, Rick, that's no problem there. Uh, she's an intense woman who's in power, and, uh, you know, she has to talk to men that way because she's uh, been suppressed over the years because uh, women don't get paid the same. I mean, come on, people. Where's that miserable cocksucker referring to Bill Clinton as she shouts the Secret Service officer? I mean, you fucking idiot to her state trooper driving her to an event. Uh, put this on the ground. I left my sunglasses in a limo. I need those fucking sunglasses. We need to get back. I mean, look, there's no difference between women and men when you get power. It's going to be abused. You have nasty people, whether they're a man or a woman. Uh, you know, so, so this shit about women, the, the titty club, we got to support women because we're women. I guarantee you no guys run around and go, Man, I, I gotta support this guy because he's a guy. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything I can to support it just because he's a guy. And uh, guys just don't think that way. People that want to play the victim think that I gotta support the guy because I'm black and he's black. I gotta support this woman because she's woman. And I'm a woman. I gotta support this gay because I'm gay and he's gay. I mean, to me, normal people just don't think that way. Those are freaking idiots that have bought into this class warfare and division. Uh, I had some pictures here with uh. This picture got me banned from Facebook. Uh, I put it up there, and and, and and all it said is that, just to be clear, these are the folks that are prone to be offended by Donald Trump's language. And, I mean, these are, these are grown men running around naked in front of little girls, and this is okay in the liberal left. This is normal. This is nothing to be seen here, people. These are two gays trying to screw each other in the ass in public at an event with kids. Oh, this is okay because this is liberalism. It, it, it promotes ignorance. It promotes... Uh, no morals. It promotes, I can do whatever the hell I want, and you damn right-wing conservative, uh, gun-loving constitutional that want to have a, a, a country with morals and values, you guys can shut up because liberals have taken over. Uh, these guys are running around naked. I, I mean, fuck the police. Black, these are all the liberal left. This is the base of the liberal left. And what, what boggles my mind is that 50% of the people fall into this category. If you promote liberalism, you promote this, you support this, this is your base, these are your representatives, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? This is where we've come? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, where's those other damn pictures I had? I figured out a way to go through these, and it didn't. Uh, so, again, more women 
promoting Hillary because she's a woman. And look at look at their values. Every one of them is uh, warning. Graphic language is about to come out. They're grabbing their pussy, okay, in public on stage with a microphone. Guess what? They're all Hillary and liberal left supporters. Oh, Rick, the liberal left just wants kindness and equal, and we want fair treatment, and we want equal... Are you kidding me? Uh, it's just freaking crazy. Uh, this newsflash, uh, Trump got caught grabbing a pussy. Come on, people. It's a freaking word 10 years ago, and everybody's like, the damn Republicans Ryan. everybody wants to run around and, and cry. It's the best damn line of the whole damn... Uh, debate. And then Trump said, because you'd be in jail. <laughs> that was great. That's me laughing because I was rolling when he said that. All right. So look, Trump said he apologized. He said it was inappropriate. It was in private. He got snookered. Big freaking deal. Anybody that's never used language or talked about any guy that ain't ever talked about pussy. Well, you know what? That he probably ain't a real guy anyway. And he's trying to figure out what bathroom to use. So get over it, people. Oh, all right, we'll end that there on mean old Trump using a bad word 10 years ago and suddenly he's not qualified to be president because the nice Hillary Clinton and this, her nice husband who treat women so nice need to be president because Trump doesn't like women. Pull your head out, people. It's ridiculous.